man, some shocking sad news coming out of the pro wrestling world. You see HBK, Shawn Michaels, a.k.a. Michael Hickenbottom. You wonder why they went with Shawn Michaels, right? That Hickenbottom just wasn't going to rock, man. Wasn't wasn't the right gimmick for the gimmick. But he's uh, saying, saddened to learn of the passing of Sid Uli, or Uli, however you pronounce his name. That's Psycho Sid, Sid Vicious, who was, man, remember he took the strap off Shawn Michaels in that amazing run that he had with the title, taking the strap off Bret Hart at the Iron Man match at WrestleMania and all that, man. When the What, what was the gimmick? They said the boyhood dream became reality or whatever. Um an unforgettable presence, and it can't be overstated how big of a role he played in creating the Heartbreak Kid. His work, legacy, and influence will inspire our business for generations to come. And I forgot, uh, just as I'm reading that, like, obviously they had that, you know, run where he took the strap off him. Um, then he hit him with the camera, or he knocked out Jose Lothario, something like that, I remember him. HBK, I, I forget it was like a, a controversial ending or whatever, but prior to that, he was Shawn Michaels' um, bodyguard, I believe, and then he turned on him and powerbombed him, I think, didn't that happen? Or, didn't they do like, I think they did a similar gimmick storyline to how Shawn Michaels and, and Diesel, the dudes with tubes went and everything like that, man, but um, I forget how old Sid was, he was getting up there in age, man, um, but, man, like, Anyone, you know, if you're around my age and you grew up watching pro wrestling and, and you were like serious about it or even not, even if you just popped in when the, the wrestling boom was happening, you knew who Psycho Sid was. And he popped back up in WCW, also had the worst leg break, like craziest injury you could ever see in a match, man. Just thinking that about that right now is making me woozy. But Shawn Michaels, it's cool to see him paying respects to Sid, you know, this is the good Christian Shawn Michaels, like, back in the day, I'm not saying he'd be, you know, not showing love and all that, but, um, he's just a different guy these days, I don't know, it's good to see, right, let's see who else is uh, saying here, this guy say R.I.P. Sid, um, honoring memory, um, the matches between the two of you were absolutely legendary and definitely had a huge influence on you becoming my fave. R.I.P. to Sid, his intensity and belief. What he was doing is unmatched. What a great man, R.I.P. Yo, when he used to come down to the ring lot like this, with that psycho music playing, the Norman Bates shit, you know, the ring, 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 and all that, um, and he would come out. What he he'd like genuflect like a priest would to the crowd or whatever, and he'd do that spitting when he talks and everything. Like he played that gimmick so well. Like when they talk about intensity, like he was legitimately kind of scary to me, honestly, man. Like he really played that psycho Sid character very well. You versus Sid at MSG was electric. His legacy will not be forgotten. May he R.I.P. Uh, WWE should have acknowledged him more. I agree with that, man. Is Sid in the Hall of Fame? talking the other day about um why is Lex Luger not in the Hall of Fame a lot of people bring up Elizabeth R.I.P. to her as well just induct him into the Hall of Fame so I guess he's not man so uh should uh should both of them be in the Hall of Fame Sid Lex um R.I.P. Sid uh, like what's your favorite memories matches from his career uh let's, let's talk about it all in the comments it's coffee subscribe for more content on music news sports and more i'm out of here peace